Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to go over your assignments for the whole week of May 18. Okay. So like last week, I embedded many of the resources already in your ELA calendar. So all you need to do is hover over it and it even tells you there, control click. So you um, click control and then click with your mouse and it'll open this up. Okay. So let's begin with Monday. So we're going back to doing our ready. Um, you're going to do 20 minutes today, 20 minutes on Wednesday, and 20 minutes on Friday so that you complete 60 minutes total. Okay. Then you will watch this lesson that I did to help prepare you for the story that we're going to read this week, The Emperor's New Clothes. Then you're going to... Um, see the vocabulary words through the vocabulary slideshow, okay? You're not really reading the story today, but we're doing the background work to prepare you because we are going to dive deep into this play. After that, you're going to watch a video that I made on how to write the ABC in cursive. Then, once you're done watching that video, you will upload your cursive practice uh, onto Student Portfolio through a picture, okay? Let me go to that. So I've already created all of the assignments for uh, cursive for this week. So it says here, after watching my video instructions on, and it has a video address, practice your cursive on a sheet of paper. Please take a clear picture of your cursive handwriting. If your picture is not clear, I'm going to ask you to send it again because then I can't see your handwriting. Um, if you have the cho uh, choice between a laptop camera or, or a cell phone camera, the cell phone camera is usually better, so use that. Then it continues to say, remember to do at least two lines of each uppercase letter and each lowercase letter. If your letters get too sloppy, please do additional letters. Once you watch the video, you will see exactly what I want and you'll know exactly what I mean. Now, this is really important. Practice makes perfect, but if you're practicing badly, you're wasting time. Proper practice makes per perfect. So if you are turning in a line of sloppy letters that don't look anything like the real letter, you will need to do that again. So please do not practice the letters wrong. Practice them right. They're not going to be perfect, and I understand that, but if they are completely deformed, you need to practice a little bit more, okay? So uh, you will take a picture and just the ABC, you know, the capital A, lowercase a, capitals and lowercase, but just ABCs. Let's go back. All right, so remember that my office hours, I can answer your questions between the time of 8.30 in the morning to 11.30 in the morning. Um, I do want to share this with you. This was in the ELA calendar last week. But it's this week there again, and it's really important, especially this week, since we are doing cursive. So let me show you what those resources are. I already clicked, I already opened them for, for us. So um, there is an 80-page document uh, in your Wonders to Do. Um, you don't need to print all 80 pages. Um, you, it would benefit maybe if you do have a printer that you print like um, a few pages so that you can have them as reference. If you do not have a printer, don't worry. Just open up the page. Oh, this is a really important one. This is about how you should write, okay? Most of you are right-handed. So, you know, the important part is that you slant your paper, but you guys should pretty much do that naturally. All right, so, you know, this might be a good page for you to print. Uh, this one might be a good page for you to print or just, you know, save this document onto your desktop, ask the parents to help you, and it can guide you. And I do want to say that this sometimes is nicer than what I did because, as I told you in the videos, I'm not, I'm not really good at cursive. Um, so, I mean, I'm okay, but um, this, you know, if you have this, it will really help guide you, okay? 
Um, but yeah, there's a if you were in regular school in my class, we would be doing this. I would have printed this out for you, and you would have like little quizzes and tests. And so, if you really want to get better, I would suggest that you do this. I know that some kids have already started because I put this on the Wonders Portal last week. So there's just um, a lot of pages that you can just read through and practice, you know, even strokes, okay? That's something that you can do to get better. All right, so that's that. The other thing in the Wonders Portal is some blank lined paper. I do not have blank lined paper at my house, so I just use regular um, paper. And that's what you'll see in my videos, okay? So I wanted to show you that. Okay, let's go back here. All right, so Tuesday, you're going to read the Emperor's New Clothes twice. Then you're going to post on Flipgrid, and then you're going to reply to two classmates. So I do want to show you um, the Flipgrid, okay? And by the way, I noticed this picture, and I noticed Michael, you're sad there. Why were you sad? Everyone is so happy. Let me know. Okay, so this is your flip grade assignment, okay? So it says, first, be sure to read the story, The Emperor's New Clothes on StoryWorks Jr. twice before continuing. If you haven't read it twice, you can click it right there. Then ponder the following question. When the royal aide warns the emperor about being remembered as a fool, the emperor gets angry and throws him out, but at the end, the emperor rewards the royal aide's honesty by making him his chief advisor. What makes the emperor change his mind? What lesson? What is the lesson of the fairy tale? So I want you guys to, I know this is a lot and I know you haven't read the story, um, but before you post, organize your thoughts. You can do it in your head by thinking, or you can even put your thoughts down on paper and then use that to respond to the question, okay? So you don't get like camera shy when the camera's rolling and you kind of forget what you were gonna say, all right? All right, so then you're gonna have another two videos. I forgot my ABCs and I left E out of this video. So you'll watch these two videos and then upload it, my hours, some extra stuff for that story. Wednesday, we have our ELA Zoom. We're gonna go in the spirit of the story that we're reading and we could wear new clothes or favorite clothes, okay? Um, all right, so I'm ready reading for 20 minutes and then watch this video, upload it. Um, now over here, these extra things are videos that I found online that I previewed and I think they are good if you want to see another sort of video of um, cursive writing being uh, in action. So you can watch these videos. And then this last video is that song I like to play when you guys are working. I think it's very good and relaxing. And, you know, I want you to take it easy while you're doing your cursive. Don't get frustrated. Um, and so you can play that music if you want. Uh, let's see. Something else I wanted to tell you. I am abbreviating the title of the story, um, The Emperor's New Clothes it's so long so it's t-e-n-c okay just in case you see that you don't know what that means all right so the thing i am most excited about i'm excited about a lot of things i'm really happy with uh this week's assignments um okay so this one right here the post on flipgrid okay because i think that this is an every question and it's a critical critical thinking question it's not easy okay all right, so I want to see this picture. So fun. Okay, anyway, so for Thursday, May 21st, the Amper's New Clothes, we're going to answer this big question. Does anyone know who this is? He said, Malala, you're right. Okay, so it says here, the answer, answer the critical thinking question. It's a big question about the whole play. In this play, almost everyone is afraid to speak up when might it be important to speak up even if no one else does so it says here use the attachment to take five to ten minutes to think about a concrete example from your life to respond to this question 
then reply to two other classmates. So before we move on to this, I just want to say that there's a right here. This is the attachment. Okay, you click it and it opens to this. Again, it's the same question. You do not need to print it, but if you want to get your thoughts out on paper before you, you know, get the camera rolling so that you can remember what to say and think about something. Okay, so remember it to take about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to think about what you want to say. Okay, when might it be important to speak up even if no one else does? So remember that everyone in the story was, well, I guess you guys have probably heard the story or read the story, but like no one wanted to tell the king, I'm sorry, the emperor that his clothes, you know, had a problem. So no one spoke up about it, but clearly they should have. So think about your life. Okay, and when might it when might it be important to speak up? All right, so that brings me to this picture of Malala. Okay, so the Giphy is of Malala, a class of 2020 high school graduate. Okay, so she would be graduating right now, but she can't because of uh, COVID-19. So um, anyway, something about her is that she is the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winner in history. Okay? And she speaks up and it's brave of her to speak up because girls in her home country are not allowed to become educated. Girls uh, where she's from are not allowed to go to school. And so um, she spoke up even when other, people's, other people were afraid to speak up for what she believed in. Kind of like Abraham Lincoln, and you know we read about him. Um, and unfortunately, some very bad people hurt her, but luckily she survived. Okay, and so she's a hero, um, and she's a kid just like you, um, a little bit older than you, um, but she uh, became honored for all her hard work. Anyway, here you can click here, and there's more information about Malala. I had a book in my classroom library about her. Um, I don't know if some of you read it. All right. Um, moving on. Reply to two classmates. Um, cursive. Upload it. Friday. You have to do your I ready reading for 20 more minutes. Make sure you have 60 minutes in total. Make sure you're not failing any lessons. If you fail, you have to do more than 60. Because if not, that's a waste of time. Um, and then you're going to complete the Emperor's New Clothes quiz. Okay? And let me take you there. So this quiz is here. Okay? All right. You've done something like this before in the past. I put how many points you get for each question. Okay? And last but not least, I want to say something here about the short written responses. Okay? Because when you guys last did it, there were some things that I wanted to correct this time. All right, it says, directions. Answer the questions below in a short, well-written paragraph. That's in capital letters. That means three sentences or more. So the reason why I added this and why I'm talking to you about it now is because many people did not write a paragraph. Okay? And so I really want you to write at least three sentences to really fully answer that question and really fully earn those five points, okay? So um, in addition, it says, make sure to use details from the play. This is not a suggestion. These are your directions, so please follow them. Be sure to check your grammar and spelling before submitting. Again, not a suggestion, it's a direction. I will take away points for that. So I'm really going to be more strict about um, giving you the all five points for following those directions because last time I really accepted some work that was below par, uh, below my expectations of all of you almost fourth graders. Okay, so that's that. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoy uh, doing uh, ELA this week. 
Um, I will see you on Wednesday. We will have a contest. Uh, and only there will be one winner. Okay, not everyone's going to get a trophy for the contest. It's going to be on cursive. Um, we'll also do some group work together. It'll be fun. Okay. All right, guys. Happy learning.